I've got to give the Wardens credit. Before this last weekend, I honestly thought this war was going to be over soon, but the Wardens really showed up this last Warden weekend, and they're starting to push us Collies back. Up north, we've had this constant fight going on over Tyne. Back and forth, back and forth, we just keep going. We'll secure Tyne for a couple minutes, then they'll come back and take it, then we'll push them back and we'll take it again. Just back and forth and back and forth. I can't recall a war I've been in where we've had this much back and forth over one town. Hey, Jay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jay. <laughs> How are you? Do you nice need a bandage? Not too bad. Absolutely. Nice to see you here on the front line. Yeah. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure. You're going to find a better spot. Of course. If you're not already, make sure you're following jray910 over at twitch.tv. He's super chill and really nice, and he's one of the best infantry players in Foxhole. So if you want to learn anything about infantry play, go check out his stream. We had a really good group for this push into Tyne. We had a ton of infantry players, a few armored tanks, and we even had a destroyer off to the east raining Artie down on the town hall. We were creeping up inch by inch towards Tyne. We were slowly building our gains. There was no way the Warden Force could stop us. Get out of the trench. One issue we had with our position was that we had a lot of infantry and not a lot of anti-tank. We didn't have any blasts, we barely had any anti-tank rifles. Our job was mainly to keep the Warden infantry away from our tanks. I honestly thought this was going to be one of those fronts where as soon as I joined the battle, it was already going to be over. They are pushing us hard. Hey, you guys are doing it, man. We had a few wardens that were trying to flank around and take us out from the back. I decided I would try my own flanking maneuver. It didn't go very well. It was starting to get dark and night was upon us. Luckily for us, Logi continued to rein in with shirts and ammo, and we were able to defend just by continuing to throw body after body at the wardens. Hey, Robert. You see a small group like this walking around at night, you ask them what they're up to, and you ask if you can join There's them. not really much this way. There's a bunch of AI structures. Uh, there's some tanks over here. Oh, are there? Yeah, there are. All right, let's do it. Outlaw, one outlaw. I don't know what the other one is. The other one's further down south. You guys got AT? Yep. Yes. Alright. I'll be your Stay cover. With me. How is it not fucking dead? Jesus. Thank you. Got it. I know it's most people's instinct to keep fighting and getting into the battle, but stop every now and then and help your fellow builders out. In true Night Goblin fashion, we were pushing through the Wardens during the night and heading towards the Town Hall. We even still had that destroyer with us that was raining Artie down and helping our push move forward. We gotta go protect that destroyer. Are you the real one? The real... Uh... 
Uh, don't you have a YouTube channel? I would never. I would never do a YouTube channel. But yeah, that's me. Love your videos. Oh, that's super kind of you. Thank you. I like to keep busy during the night as much as possible. Alright, let's do it. Let's go protect the destroyer. Because night combat can be so boring. Our new objective was to protect the destroyer. Six men. Unfortunately, we didn't do a great job protecting the destroyer and they eventually had to back off. But I think the destroyer served as a good distraction because the rest of our forces were able to push up to the town hall. As a true Lodgy player, I made it my goal to find a CV as quick as we could so we could build this town hall back up. You want to bring this CV up and tap time? They didn't really seem like they wanted to come build the town hall back up. They weren't too confident that we were going to keep it. Can we use this CV? You want to bring it up? Got you covered. Which is understandable because we had been losing it back and forth for the last day and a half. <laughs> yep, I know. That's how it goes, but let's do it. Trust me. Yep, I'm fine. If it lasts for one day, that sounds like a victory to me. Guys, cover this CV. Come cover this CV. We Get ahead. Yeah, we're up in squad, man. I got B mats for you right over here. Okay, so things weren't off to a great start with rebuilding the town hall. Come on, we gotta get we gotta get the uh, town hall to get the to tap it, but I also to get that morale boost. If you need B mats, they're in this crate right here. This is full of goodies. Two wardens approaching from the north. Northwest. Wardens coming. Where do you want to go? I'll follow you. Two wardens approaching from the east. See him on radio. The warden infantry kept coming from every direction. One at least. They're behind this house here. This house. Good call outs, good call outs. Oh, nice, good stuff guys, good stuff, good stuff. I honestly thought I was playing some campaign mission in another video game, where I had to defend this certain zone until the countdown timer reached zero. Say we, may only be, we may only be armed with sidearms, but we can do work. We did it, we rebuilt the town hall. Now surely we wouldn't lose it again. Thanks for your help, CVs. Thank you. Always make sure you're commending your builders. It's not exciting work, but it's needed. After securing the town hall, we started to push the wardens back up north. It looked like we were going to be able to hold this position. Always remember to build your gains. If you don't see anybody building up around a town hall or a relic base as soon as you take it, you should take it upon yourself to grab a few people and start building. Daytime was approaching and the wardens started to push again. I can't see them. They can't see me. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Are you guys the Bane group? Uh, something like yeah. that. Just keep them off us. Do you want us to bait them back here or what? Try to. Uh, though. Yeah, I mean, if you're able to. Okay, well, well let, let me. Here. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me let yeah, everybody let know. The, yeah, let me let it. Let me back up. Thanks, Oh, you got it. You got it. Nice you it. it. Run. Well, technically, I didn't let everybody know, but I was the bait. Thank you. Ready? Thank you. You got to tap him. He's bleeding. Let's bleep. go get ammo. Let's go get ammo. Yeah, Always commend your medics. So we may not have kept the town hall as long as I wanted us to. We don't got AT. What do you mean? Don't all sit on the side of the thing. We need infantry to push out and keep us from getting flanked. Don't all sit on the town. Infantry push up. We're pretty shit. We're pretty shit.
We had the infantry and the manpower, just not the armor. I saw this clear. I saw this not clear. Outside is not clear. You just stab everybody. Yes. Yeah, if you can all sit on there, We need some people to go back to the bunker base and grab AT. We need some more AT up here right now. It's okay if we lose. Don't make it free. Don't make it free. Some people need to spawn in the bunker behind us and grab AT. Oh, there we go. We got armor. We got friendly armor. Go help them out. Go support the friendly armor. Go support the friendly armor. Push up the and it was gone. I think it honestly lasted less than 20 minutes. Find AT. I honestly don't know what to tell you. I see somebody building and I just want to help them build. A BT had joined our front line, so I thought we were going to be able to take the town hall back again pretty easily. The wardens were knocking pretty hard on our front door and I don't think the BT was going to be enough. Lucky for me, I found a free tank. If you're going to park a tank by the frontline bunker and leave it unlocked, it's free game. I'm sorry. Plus, we desperately needed it to push the warden armor back as well. Alright, who wants to get in? Alright, I got my Respect tank. Respect the haters. Good job. What's up? Yeah, what's up? You fucked. You ready to shoot? Yep. Let's do it. Roha, you fucking dead shit. Uh, oh, up down the front, cheap, mostly like infantry, it. tanks are pretty scared. Okay. Uh, do you want to shoot at infantry or no? Yeah, we can shoot at infantry, I just found this tank, so it's free. So that's fine, if you see infantry, you shoot at them. Okay, yep, we'll chill. We'll protect Hold this BT the and stay near the BT. You might want to play like a wider flight away from there. Okay. Go and the the target target. Truck. Okay. HD's gonna watch this line right here. Okay, thank you. Oh shit! Keep firing, keep firing, keep firing, you're doing great. Block him, block him, block him, block him! Keep firing, keep firing, you're doing great, nice, keep block going. Something is throwing the outlaw! Yep, concentrate on him, yep, nice, nice, nice. Okay, now look north, northeast. Go push it, push it, push it. No, 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 I'm disabled, I'm disabled. It's all you, bro, Eam. So tanking didn't go very well, but at least it was a free tank. I'm sorry if that was hard for anyone to watch out there. I'm a Logi player, I don't go to the front a lot, but I will say I had a lot of fun. The wardens were starting to push us back to our original forward bunker. We were starting to mass our forces again and get a lot more armor support, so we were able to start pushing back towards their town hall. My builder and Logi brain kicked in again, and instead of going and enjoying the frontline action, I decided to get in the CV and build a more forward bunker.
After I finished building that forward bunker, I found out that the destroyer was back and was aiding us again on our push towards the town hall. It was nighttime once again, and we had done our goblin thing and secured the town hall once more. Yo, Robert, you're the YouTuber guy, right? Sometimes, yeah. We were rebuilding the town hall for the second time within a day. We would hold it this time for sure. Also, hey, Robert. Hello, how are we doing? Well, we're dining in time, so you know what? I'll you know what? Second in. time's the charm. We we built it like 20 minutes ago. We're going to do it again. I think I think we really got it this time. I feel it. It feels good in my bones. All right. Uh, guys, if we lose the war, we're blaming Robert. That's fair. That's fair. I'll never join Kali again. I I'll, I'll stay on Warden. That oh, no. Are you going to move the CV back? Um, I was just going to leave here just in case. We can always build another one. Are you sure? Wait, where can no, we build but... another one at? Hold on. What? That's so Oh, that's, not that, that's not that far. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Literally just dump a few cliffs and you're good. All right, I'm gonna my I, I I got too much anxiety. I gotta move it a little bit. Just and stop there. <laughs> yeah, and right here in the middle of the road. <laughs> but it wasn't right there in the middle of the road. My lodging anxiety kicked in too much, and I had to move it all the way back. We had secured Tyne again, and it was time to build it up and start building defenses around it so we could keep it. We were able to take back Tyne and push the Wardens out. Overall, it was a really fun battle going back and forth, and I've honestly had a blast fighting in Speaking Woods this war. And he's dead. What happened there? J-Ray. Oh, he was... Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that. I thought you were I just... I mean, he's sleeping now. He didn't stop sleeping. Uh, just a different kind of sleeping. I thought J-Ray went completely AWOL on us. Oh. I was gonna have to... I was gonna have to do the unspeakable. Thanks for everyone that participated and said hi to me. As always, thank you for watching and your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Tell me what town you've liked fighting over this war in the comments. I'll see you all out on the battlefield. Cheers.